and welcome to the Board of Selectmen's meeting on Monday, June 12, 2017. The standing and saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, I'm going to tell the board of the yeah, she's probably in the banquet room. I think she might have been covering the floor to help. I'm not sure. Um, well, and that was one of the reasons why I suggested a fourth person the last meeting. Um, because usually, if you if you offer three interviews, at least one yeah. is going to fall out. Um, and having a, a little more breadth of review doesn't necessarily hurt the process. Do we want to try to set a meeting and, and bring in the, well, the most we'll qualified to... person outside of the ones with municipal experience? When We can ask when Clarence gets back but because we could still set a meeting for but, Wednesday and bring somebody yeah, in. Yeah, but basically what we really wanted to do was to have somebody with municipal experience. That's my feeling on the situation. I don't know how Clarence feels. What's that? We'd like to have someone with municipal experience. Oh, ab absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, Instead yeah. of just somebody who's never had any. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we have some choices based on what's uh, made available to us. Well, we do have those people, at least the two we're talking to tonight, both have some And municipal I know, experience. I know that the employees have even said, you know, that they'd like, you know, like the financial team has said they'd like to get somebody in here because there's a lot of work to do. Well, it also gets back to your meeting and the timing yep, of the getting timing. work done. And also, and also, I guess what's coming up too is the registration to go to school. Right. To go to treasurer school. So I've got to get all that in too with somebody. Okay. I'll do it. Okay. All right. I was just wondering if we wanted to set up another meeting for Wednesday for any of the other applicants where at least one of the three fell out. Make that decision at 7 15. Okay. Yeah. All righty. I'd like a, mo um, a motion to entertain and approve the expense warrant for 613.17 for $4,026.19 and for 613.17 for $41,918.95. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Then I would also like them to have a motion to entertain the monthly reports and minutes of other departments. The Cultural Council for 5817 and monthly file report for May 7th. <coughs> oh, I'll make that. I'm sorry. Motion. I'll second it. Uh, could you make sure certain I get a copy of those? Of, of what? The, of the warrants? The, of the reports. Oh, oh sure. Sure, sure. 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 Great. Okay. Uh, any discussion on anything? There's some anniversaries you might want to mention on the fire one. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, yes, I saw that the other day. Do you want a copy of the report? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. We have all on the, um, from the fire department, we have some anniversaries. Excellent. We have Assistant Chief Herbert Chafee, who has been with us for 40 years. Wow. Firefighter Philip Chafee, who is um, her son, he's been with us for 19 years. Firefighter Matthew Phillips, who's been with us for four years. And firefighter Ashley Marks for four. And firefighter Megan Kimball for four years. Excellent. That's, that's excellent. Her for 40 years, that's mm. a long time. It is. See here. Okay, so we'll move on to announcements. Uh, join Brookfield Indivisible, a new regional grassroots action group for a workshop titled Our Climate, Our Kids. What will be the future look like? At 2 p.m. Sunday, June 25th at the Brookfield Congregational Church, 8 Common Street, Dr. Jean Fry, Brookfield's own science guy, and Senator Ann Goldie, Democrat of Spencer, are featured speakers. This event is free and open to the public, and refreshments will be served. Okay, we are candidate, one of our candidates in here, so I'm going to move up to municipal transfer. Public access. Do you want me 
Oh, is there any pub you didn't have that on there? I don't think. Is there any public access this evening? Okay. Municipal transfers. Okay, we have a municipal transfer here from Chief Michael Blanchard for the uh, amount of two thousand dollars to go to the police expense account and it would come from the police station expense account. And it's a cover year in expenses. I make that motion. A second. Any uh, discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's why we consolidate those accounts this year is to simplify the poor man's accounting. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. Hmm. My pocket was talking to me. I just saw something in here from Brenda. Where is that? Okay. So now we'll move on to. Um, there's no other? Well, Oh yes, we also have other, we have um, concerts on the common. I'll have to get a chair. Brookfield Concerts on the Common, Friday evening in July. Pre-show warm-up bands, sound test, variety acts. Baking competition with cash prizes start at 6 p.m. Headline bands at 6 p.m. Friday, July 7th. Yes. Um, oh, it's 4 o'clock, Harrington Hospital Health Truck, Harrington on Wheels, will be on site during the extreme excitement generated by tonight's three acts. At 5 o'clock, the BES Jazz Band, 5.30, Henry the Juggler, and 6.30, the Blues Brothers Briefcase, and Baking Contest is Cookies of All Time. Kind. Friday, July 14th, the New England Swing Orchestra Baking Contest will be footprints. Friday, the 21st, cold cream. The baking contest will be cupcakes. The judges need is for baking. In the event of rain, contests will be canceled. For more info, call Bill Simpson at 508-867-9233 and Gene Lytle at 508-867-6705. Okay. And for correspondence here, we have something from our tax collector. She says, hi everyone. Just wanted to say thank you again for the support on Friday. I am looking forward to moving onward and upward. On another note, I know the treasurer applicants are established. I'm asking you to appoint someone at the earliest convenience. Refunds need to be issued and dates need to be set up regarding open enrollment for school. This must be Nancy. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, sit here. Hi, I'm Nancy, Nancy Tablet. Nice to meet you. Quite nice to meet you. Hi. Hey, Linda, long time oh, no see. Oh, I you got long hair. I think yeah. Recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just do one last one. That's okay. Okay, and we have something here from the Brookfield Cultural Council. And thank you. Dear Select Board, we want to thank you for participating in the Memorial Day ceremony this year and every year. We really appreciate your dedication and heartfelt speeches from the Brookfield Cultural Council. Okay, do we have anything other that we want to bring up this evening? And then we'll move on to our treasurer interview. Are you doing public access here, Linda? We did earlier. Oh, you did? Do you, well, you, did. No, you weren't saying, here. You just did an right? Mm -hmm. We did. No, we did we public did, access and then we did other. All right, as long as it's short. <laughs> I'll make it short, brief, and to the point, and truthful. Okay. You know, the way that meeting went, you guys you guys really start have to be more of a leadership. Have more leadership, more management, more hands-on of what's going on in this town. You're going to break this town financially. We shouldn't, all that stuff we bought, trucks, more trucks. That's all the highway does is work on trucks down there. They're not even out in the road. They're constantly working on vehicles because there's so many down there. I mean, we cannot just keep financially 
running the town like this. It's not good. And you're going to have to be more of a hands-on leadership and management of what's going on in this town. You really are. And we can't... You are serving the whole elected people in this town, not just a handful of... What do you want to call it? Select group? Special group? Whatever you want to call it. Can't be doing that. You're going to break this town financially. What, how that meeting ran and what came out was terrible. Terrible. We shouldn't have been buying that dump truck when the DOR specifically, specifically told us not to do anything unless it was emergency, absolutely needed. But Danny, mm -hmm. where that is concerned, in October, when he has to go for inspection on that vehicle, he won't be able to get a sticker on it. Linda, we don't need three one tons. That but truck was replaced back in old yes, 12. Yes, what he's doing, that is coming off the road because it cannot go back. Good, we road. don't need three one tons. He needs to get be three full-time guys next year. You're probably going to be wanting to put two more guys on this time. <clears throat> One thing I can say for her, he mm -hmm. hasn't really had a lot of new trucks in years. What he does is he, he takes parts off of old vehicles that are down there. Yeah, so do other towns. Well, he does, and he's yeah. always working on the old vehicles. A lot of his trucks he's got down there that, that he plows, mm -hmm. they're 1973s. They're old vehicles, and he's always taking the parts just to keep those going so that he doesn't mm -hmm. have to always come back for a new truck like that to the town because that's going to cost us more than 59000 Linda, that truck was supposed to have been given to the cemetery. They've spent let's, like 15, let's not, we've, we've well, gone over this. Excuse me. Time. Excuse yeah. me. Can I speak? Madam Chair. I'm sorry, I just, want to, yeah. I just want to point out the mm -hmm. fact that it's currently 6.15 and I prefer That's good. So let's let me finish yeah. what I have to say. Every Doesn't time I want to talk to talk to you people nicely, you interrupt me. But we have a we have a candidate that's going to Okay, so I got a couple, two more couple, minutes. A couple minute. more minutes. All I wanted to say was we have a, that truck was replaced back in 97 and we replaced it again. We don't need three one tons. And don't tell me there's seven 1973 trucks down there because there's not. I don't know where you're getting that information. So try to be hands on and follow what's going on in the departments and stop bringing our tax rate. It's going to go through the ceiling the way you three are operating. It's not affecting the tax rate no. at all. No, it's not, thank you. Those aren't affecting the tax rate. No, I'm talking about in overall. I'm not just talking about the truck, I'm talking about the whole picture. Yes, but what so, we're going to do today, we already made the motion when we had our meeting before the town meeting last week all of the money that we took from stabilization and we got our free cash it's going to be voted back into it i understand that that's not i'm talking about before the meeting and doing what we did at the meeting the whole package of what we're doing financially you need to you need to get hands on and have some leadership is what i'm trying to tell you i'm not trying to be critical i'm just suggesting that you need to take a look at these departments and be hands on is what i'm trying to tell you well i've tried to be hands on i've, I've talked so. to all the different departments I truly believe that I have become very hands-on also. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not. No. I'm just talking of the whole picture is what I'm trying to say. All right, well, we'll take that under advisement right, then. All right, okay, thank you. Thank you, Dave. Sorry, hold you up, Nancy. Okay. That's okay. All right, our first candidate tonight is Nancy Talbert. And Nancy worked okay. for us years, probably back in, I'd say, probably about 2000. I was here for... 9-11, 2001, yeah. 2000, okay. yeah. yeah. She was here right for that a couple day. of years when we had had a, a, a change of, you know, treasurer collector, and our collector was new at the time, and Nancy came in and she helped her out a lot, and she was very good at what you she did. You had a lot of open books, Yeah, too. we had a lot of open books We closed time. those and got some yeah. money. And yeah. she helped out a lot for that. Okay. As Are we, you Karen? I just want to... Nice to meet you. Hi, Nancy. Karen. I didn't want to just... Ignore you as we spoke on the phone. Okay. Okay, we see here Nancy has her um, with all of her professional experience and she to the present she was up in the town of Barry and before that she was in Holland. So she's got a lot of years. Twenty six of them. Twenty six years. <laughs> a lot of them. Okay, one of the first questions I can ask and what we can do with yep. the do ro rotating questions. Okay. What qualities do you have that would make you successful as a town treasurer? Well, besides the fact that I've been doing it successfully, um, you have to have a great deal of attention to detail. You have to have a thorough understanding of how each and every department interacts um, to, in order to balance out. You've got to know 
the flow and a little bit of what Dave was saying is, you know, I kind of know what's being spent and what's going to be borrowed mm -hmm. and where we're at and what percentage we're at. Mm -hmm. So it takes a lot of uh, experience and skill and um, real attention to the detail of what is going on today, mm -hmm. day to day in the departments to be a successful treasurer and to be able to know how to balance and how to uh, interpret law and make sure that you're in compliance with it, which I have a background having worked for an mm -hmm. attorney, which that was a very easy thing for me to do. And um, I think just doing it all the time and hands-on, you just really know what you're looking at. Yeah. It doesn't take you long to look at a set of books, look at something and know exactly what you're looking at. Thank you. We'll go along with Mr. Snyder. Great. The next one? Yeah, welcome. Thank you. The second question we have, in, we have a set set of questions. I got it. So, so, so we're, we're completely uh, unbiased as far as the questions. Uh, tell us what you think the essential functions are of the town treasurer. Oh, wow. She's got a lot of them. Mm -hmm. um, payroll, oversight of payroll, personnel, uh, new, new rules such as uh, ACA, uh, Obamacare. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the borrowing. I know at any given time, we have 22 bank accounts, and I know at any given time what is in those bank accounts, what's covering what, what's moving where, when to move it. I mean, it's just that think your fingertips on, on the, the reins, mm -hmm. so to speak. Um, I do everything from Right now, I'm both collector and treasurer, so anytime there's an error somewhere in the computer software system, it's on my desk. It's mine to fix. I call myself Mrs. Fix-It. Um, let's see, what else do I do? I do unemployment. I handle uh, bans, bonds. I handle, um, not every day, of course, but uh, the debt schedule. Uh, vouchers, payments, uh, receipts, uh, deposits from other accounts. Um, geez, I'm going down the list thinking, what did I do today? Turnovers. Mm -hmm. um, my goodness, balancing with the uh, with the collector, balancing with the accountant, um, uh, billing. But you treasures don't have to worry about that. I'm just thinking of all the things that I have to worry about, which is a whole lot. Mm. Um, a lot of computer. Mm. Oh, um, I'm going for my new glasses on Thursday. <laughs> 11 hours a day is taxing on the eye. I've got my dominant eye that's two and a half optics off. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a lot of computer. I'd say I live on the computer. I pretty much don't stray from my desk. Um, those are just some of the things I do. Yeah. There's a lot. Yep. Yeah. Pleasure. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about your experience with any financial software? Well, I've used um, Eunice. I don't like it at all. Um, I've used Vadar for 20 years and they've been in office. They've been in business 20 years. <coughs> um, I am familiar with everything <coughs> from the assessors to the collector to the treasurers to the accounting package. I pretty much, when they first started, I was one of their test sites. There were six sites chosen, mm -hmm. and I helped them develop it, tell them what it needed to do. They were just a group of college kids. Can I ask you a question about that? I yeah, thought absolutely. Vader did not have an assessor module. The assessors, you do have indeed have modules. They use the abatement. The exemption um, billing uh, generates through their data bridge. It starts with the assessors. Our system is completely integrated, so um, yes, she does indeed use the data quite a bit. Um, I don't think you would per se mm -hmm. call it a module like you would think <coughs> of okay. purchasing, but it's integrated. So there's aspects of the assessor yeah, function. Yeah, in fact, we there. did billing today, her and I, and we're, it's back and forth. I'm at this point, back this up. I'm going to do, I mean, that's what we did today. And tomorrow I'll take it from the end and bring it to fruition and get those bills up on the website and get them 
to the. Uh, so, do they still use the camera system up there? No. Oh, they don't. No, no. Everything is they are. Mm -hmm. Oh, so everything, yeah. even in the assessor's office. Is yes. Oh, yes. That's, oh, that's good to know. I didn't yeah. realize that because oh. I know that. I think since 2010, Linda. Oh, because I know yeah. the camera here is going on to something new. Something else. You're still using camera? Yeah. Yeah. The Tyler system? Or What's the name of it? Tyler Technologies yes. is Munis. No, it's something, it's but it's something else. They're going on to something else now, the state is. And I know quite a few oh, of the well, Tyler. Mun Munis is owned by Tyler Technologies. <laughs> That's what it is, isn't it, Tyler? Mm -hmm. I believe it's Tyler, yeah, it's but Tyler. I believe yeah. they're we, we need to circle back around with Al. No, but I just wanted yeah. to ask her a couple of questions because I was very surprised that the assessors could use VADAR. I didn't know. Oh, absolutely. I, I am too because when I talked yeah. about VADAR back in like 2014 about some of the stuff we had going on with our system when we first turned on the treasurer, um, they you know said what? at the time they didn't have an assessor. I know what you're talking, talking about. You're talking about the actual creating the assessments. Yes. Yes, we don't we don't use VADAR for that. We use VADAR from the point they're created, which is where we were today. Okay. And we bring everything forward oh. into our system via the data bridge. Okay. And all those bills are handled through VADAR. Okay. So yes. Well, we are set up that way. VADAR does integrate yeah. into the tax collector, so yeah. that's. It. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's yeah, just, just just different, yeah, different it's software right. Right. integration. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Doesn't work well, we'll just say. Okay, <laughs> our next question is, and you probably answered what it is already, uh, what experience have you had in human resource management? Oh, on a daily basis, I handle all of the um, benefits. We have several of them. We have, of course, Blue Cross Blue Shield. We, of course, have dental. But we also have a slew of different uh, life insurances, different a couple of different companies we use different options they're able to uh, oh, okay. select. So they, so they all just don't use the same? No, nope. <coughs> I have a slew of them. We okay. handle all of the paperwork with Worcester County Regional Retirement. I handle all of the paperwork for the various insurance companies, mm -hmm. take care of all the payroll withholding, do the balancing out between the actual bill coming in and what we're taking out of the employees' uh, paychecks to make sure the town's not eating some of that cost. Yeah. Make sure that for sure if they're paying their share, we're paying our share as it should be. Um, it, it's, we are personnel. I mean, we have a personnel department that mm -hmm. handles new hires and hands off all the paperwork to us. Yeah. Okay. We take it from there. Yeah, because like down here, we don't have like a personnel department that treasurer does. That's not thing. the big part of the job. Yeah. The big part of the job is the part I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hiring someone and yeah. handing them a packet that's been created by my office. Yeah. And well, we've just. <laughs> not happening. Well, we had, since um, March, we've had an assistant treasurer. Mm -hmm. She was just like a financial clerk, but now she's, we got the Holly, job. Right? Yeah, Holly is. Yep. We, got the, we had got the position past the town meeting. Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. I checked out your town meeting. I know you're mostly level funded. I know yeah. it's, I see your, your budget and what's mm -hmm. going on. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen your books, but I know that. Well, we've hired somebody, Carrie, our accountant has hired somebody to come in and, you know, straighten out all the books. Okay. Not that we're having an audit done. Yeah. And when you said Carrie, I thought you had said Terry, no. and that's a different girl. Oh, okay. And I realized <laughs> after I said, did she <laughs> think Carrie? Terry. I've been racking my brain going, I think I, I, I told her. You sure don't, don't. Because I know <laughs> Carrie, not Carrie. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right. I said, oh, I'll tell Linda when I see okay. her. <laughs> okay. All right. Clarence, So, I yes. Think? What experience have you had with municipal investing and borrowing, tax title, cash flow, management, and budgeting? Tax title. Um, yeah, I'd like to hear about that. Tax title? Yeah. Sure. Well, when I came into if you want to start in Holland, we had books open for 19 years. We had a, a collector that went to prison. I created those titles. Um, she had created them all and put them in a safe and never recorded any of them. So our government thought everything was hunky-dory, but it didn't take long to realize that wasn't the case. So I did almost a, a almost a thousand tax takings oh yes over there and collected over a million dollars in those takings and 
foreclosed on yeah. those that wow. didn't. Yeah. That was just Holland. Barry has been even worse. I came into Barry, I was told three or four years. That's why I probably, if you're considering me, I'm going to want to ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. I was told three or four years of the accounts were, you know, not up to par. Well, that's not true. It was back to 1974. It was 36 years that were open, and very quickly discovered again we are we have an uh, an indictment, and discovered that there was a great deal of money missing. And so I can't talk about that case because it's still ongoing, but I can say that because it's public. Um, I noticed that takings hadn't been done in years, that tax title had been sitting. Now this will be the treasurer's side, because I got hired to clean it all. The treasurer's side it had been sitting there for decades, just sitting there, to the point where what happens is you get to the point where this owes this, and it might be worth this, because every year you tack on, and this goes up, this goes up. So we did several, uh, a couple of auctions. I've done uh, 255 takings there. I've collected from uh, August of 2011 through, I figured it out, through last June, 800,000 in tax title. Um, I did a tax lien sale, which I would truly advise is a, a real good way to boost those mm -hmm. funds quickly. And we had a couple of auctions. So last year we had collected 250,000 in tax title. We had 110 from the auction and another 50 from the tax lien sale. That's all free cash. That's pure free cash. I have extensive background and knowledge in doing that and I know exactly what I have to do. And my legal background allows me to make sure that those liens, just because you have a tax lien doesn't mean you have something worth a nickel. So I like to do my own research, go into the registry, look for myself, and decide if we're moving forward. I've had a few of them that I've had to completely dissolve and redo, and then I did them, and now they're moving. Unfortunately, um, for some reason, Barry don't want to fund anymore. They don't think there's a good return on investment. I don't understand that, but um, they still have $680,000 in takings that I've done that need to move into land court. Yeah. So uh, that's one of those ones. It's 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 a it's a two-sided coin. But at the not same time, <laughs> right? <laughs> not but to me. well, but but if you're looking, so the thing is, if you're looking short term, yes, the cost seems to outweigh the value. But when you're looking long term for the town, it's critical to just keep. Moving it's forward. absolutely critical yeah. to your fiscal yeah. health. But now but people, and in the future, that right. you continue that, and I do takings um, in the collective side right. on a yearly basis, and if I had my way, we'd be doing a tax lien sale every single year after I aggressively reduce that very large number to a very manageable number. Yeah, not funding that is like stepping over, uh, stepping over nickels, to, stepping over dimes to pick up a nickel is what you're doing. That's you exactly what yeah. you're doing, yeah. but you know, that's not my decision. But if you need that done, it won't take me long to figure out where you're at. Good deal. Yeah. Number six. Number six. Number six. Uh, what research or professional develop actions have you taken recently to improve your skill or prepare yourself for this position? Uh, I've been going to school for 26 years. I finally got around to applying and have been approved to sit for my exam. Got my collectus one. Just never, it was so much going on there. Um, Everything had to be revamped, payroll had to be upgraded, changed, everything had to be balanced and brought up. No one had looked at benefits. So you're, so you're scheduled this I'm system. scheduled for, for, my, for my test. Yeah, I just Thanks. finally got around to it. Yeah. I said, oh, I should do this. <laughs> so, the certification. Yeah, and last year I was going to do it and I realized, I'm like, oh my God, I missed the deadline. I'm just, you know, you get busy and it's months ahead. So, But I, I did, I got my approval letter today to sit for it, so. Great. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. That's the you all finished? Well, that was, yeah. That was the question. That was the question. Okay. All right. Now we're moving on to seven things. How have you boosted your relationship with your colleagues 
And the second question is, can you share an experience where you participated on or as part of the team? Well, I, you cannot run the department without being part of the team. I was a coach years ago, so when I told my girls, it's the same thing I practiced. You don't have to love your teammates. You don't have to leave here and go hang with them. But when you're on my court, everything is for the good of the team. So you're passing the ball to her, and I don't care what. It's my same philosophy. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I want to have lunch with everybody on my team, but I do make every effort to be that team player. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I just told you today, I got into work at 7 a.m. and the assessor was waiting for me. And she says, I'm going to start billing. Can you help me? I'm having problems. Absolutely. Um, we'll get this done in no time. And tomorrow I said, I'll take the reins from there. You're all set. I do it on a regular basis, whether it's the town clerk who, when I first got there, her and I clashed. And I said, no, I'm just going to be me. This is who I am. Take me or leave me. I'm pretty even keeled. I'm not one to start screaming and yelling. I'm not one to lose my cool. I'm pretty even keeled. Over time, and she's like, what can I do to help you? Um, I'll help you in any way I can. I just be me. And that's it. Yep. That's cool. Thank you. So that this position will require evening meetings and training outside of the, your normal work hours, such as the treasurer school. Well, yeah, certification. Um, if I couldn't go to that, I would cry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, do you foresee problems of basically the questions? The no. 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 They all, they all involve that, and yeah, I gotta be at school. And in fact, they're having um, Bartholomew, I don't know if you use them, but the, pe yes. the folks at Bartholomew, yes, they're my trust fund. Yeah. But actually we have um, two bar fund. Okay. Yeah, Chuck is having, uh, like they're having a little pre-test thing, and I would love to go to that, so I plan on attending that, because he's a very integral part of the treasurer's mm -hmm. side of getting, um, Certified, and he's, he's a good friend too. But I want to attend it so that I can get his perspective because I think that's the yeast in the hole right there. <laughs> All right, now, do you have any questions for us or anything oh, else Linda. you would think? <laughs> I don't know if it's the appropriate <laughs> time, but you bet I have a lot of questions. And maybe so Carrie, can, can. Carrie can probably help and answer some of the questions too. Yeah, um, but let's just start with where, when is the last time we had the treasurer and the collector's receipts balanced, the treasurer and the accountant's uh, receivables and receipts and all, all of her reconciliation sheet in, in balance. Uh, so I know what I'm looking at because I, it will be easy to know. You can I do want, I'm not gonna do another one and come in and be told, oh, three or four years and then go, um, excuse me, folks, it's 36. <laughs> okay, would, would you mind? Oh, the, the, <laughs> Carrie, do well, you want to come up and join us? Or? Depends on how um, you count You know what, I'll move over here so that you don't have to do that. I think Carrie can probably give you a good overview. Yeah, I'm so, sure she can. Carrie's been with us, she'll be here a year in August, and she came in, and she has, she had never done municipal, but she's been doing very good at it, and she's learning all her <laughs> rules and regs. Got to, right? Yeah, so um, the last official audit was halfway through fiscal 14. Um, however, uh, I've worked over the last year and balanced with the treasurer until the end of fiscal 16. Um, when Very we good. finally reached that point, mm -hmm. um, she became ill. So um, we're pretty we're pretty balanced until about December. Um, and then again, she became ill. So things things happened. But what what we are in the process of doing is we mm -hmm. um, contracted through VADAR yeah. um, to have them come in. They are actually restructuring all the books. They're going to balance two penny every account, to make recommendations on where to put money that's just hanging out there. Can I ask um, you which VADAR I sure. know them all? Yep, it is um, Justin Cole through uh, Bay State Municipal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so they actually have already started. Mm -hmm. um, just this past Thursday, we met with them and gave them their first round of material to start with. Okay. And uh, that included all the treasurer's uh, bank statements, yeah. all of my reconciliations. Yeah, I'd be looking at those yeah. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I get that um, you're, we, you would be concerned about coming into a mess. It currently well, is, you know, but we're working on fixing it. <laughs> there's a mess, mm -hmm. and there's a humongous mess, um, yeah. which you don't portray three or four years if it's three or four decades. You right. just don't. I really don't think it's um, as bad as, let's say, Barry, from what you're, what you're saying. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So, But when you went in, it wasn't. So yeah. I really don't think we even have an awful lot in yeah. tax title. No, because um, Sandy, Sandy was doing quite well with the yes. tax title when she was here. Yeah, yeah. so okay. um, mm -hmm. there is some, some movement that does need, need How to How much happen. do you have on your books for um, tax takings Ooh, that are, are sitting out there? What's a lot? I, I mean, what you call a lot and what I call a lot might be the same numbers. 273 so, okay, or something? Okay, that's yeah. not a lot. Quarter yeah, that's million. not it's a not lot. lot. Yeah. No. no. A lot of properties, though. No. Right. That's okay. Yeah, That's a lot of properties. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Some major ones that we're taking a lot of initiative on. Yeah. yeah. We have two yeah. major ones that mm -hmm. we, we're, we've taken initiative. Yeah. yeah. We found some buried Indians, to be perfectly mm -hmm. frank. So, okay. I mean, it's just yeah. serious I don't, stuff. That I consider that a huge number. Well, I'm in, used to the millions, you know, no, like, no. Yeah, there's so there's nowhere to 229,000 is the yeah. number. That sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. that's something. Yeah. Okay. That's very manageable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, could there probably be more action taken towards tax title? Sure. Yeah. Probably. Some, some yeah. stuff got stalled. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But there's yeah. not. Um, you haven't gone beyond your three year, uh, your three and a half years, where you are at risk of losing. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. So statute of limitations isn't coming into play. I don't believe so. Okay. Not, um, any, not any significant numbers. I haven't. I'll be right. honest. I haven't looked at the detail in a while. I yeah. I looked probably about. About a year and a half, two years mm -hmm. ago. Okay. Um, and at that point, we were nearly, like, we were nearly in sync from a standpoint of what was in tax taking versus tax title. Right. Mm -hmm. There had been some stuff that we missed because we weren't doing it for a while, but we're already past it at okay. this point. So yeah. we're, we're not going to recoup that. Yeah. There's been a lot of cleanup, and yeah. part of this whole um, Vader coming in yeah. and uh, they're, they're building us a new chart of accounts uh, because. It's very important how you build that. Well, if it's not built right, it's never going to work good. And that's what I'm, so, I'm yes. having. And I come from yep. corporate, so I was having difficulty learning municipal as it was. Yeah, I can understand and that I too. I used to do the books it. on private side. Yes. yes. You start from zero and go up, and here yes. you start from this and go down to exactly. zero. <laughs> and it took a I'm like, okay. Yeah. But I can do that. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's, it's right. manageable now. We've done okay. a lot of cleaning up, we've done a lot of interdepartmental restructuring on um, mm -hmm. how we proceed with things. We're working on a new manual. So we've kind of spent the last good, year uh, getting a bite into it. Yeah. So do you good, have a good audit trail and a good flow so even everything's easy to balance and easy yes. to? Yes. Yes, because it is. Yeah. Um, okay. And even more so as we move along. Yeah. Because without the treasurer in place, we've lost a lot of that structure. Right. So the, the, uh, mean, mean, the other Departments mm -hmm. have all really we worked well together to make sure that we're still following that structure, still keeping things together, yeah. and um, you know doing the best you can. Mm -hmm. So, but again, I wanted to make sure that you understood that we are going through a complete restructure, so you're not walking into like it's never been cleaned up. Talk to me about your debt. What's your debt schedule? What's your uh, debt? I believe is a little under two. Yeah, one, one eight. Yeah, one eight. Yeah. Um, the total budget is about eight, eight six, um, including the um, including the um, emergency squad. So okay. operating budget, I believe, came out at seven, seven eight. eight. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. So it's a little it's a little higher than they'd like to see. We we actually paid down uh, quite a okay. bit of debt over well, the last year. Why have to look at the schedule? Yeah. Because it's probably yeah. We just built a new police yeah. station, okay. so that's our big debt right now. Okay. And and the yeah. reason it's only, the reason it's this high right now is mm -hmm. because we've reached the uh, what is the five year agreement on that or the four year agreement where we've doubled into the payment. Uh, we've doubled the payments now. Is it two so. year? Oh. Is it a two year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they do you have a bond rating? We have two uh, years at this lower. point. Lower the percentage or. 
No, rating. I don't know that. I don't think we're actually rated. rated. You're not rated. I don't okay. believe so. At least according to the state uh, DOR site, we then, don't have an active rating. Then you don't have We didn't talk about okay. that the other day with them. No. 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 That's okay. And That's something that can be worked upon. And then I think the task force point. pretty much all paid off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we made the final payment. We paid yep. off, okay. and then I think, do we still all want a fire truck? Nope. Oh, 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 that's all done. Oh, no, that's well, the last payment right. is this year. Yeah. 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 You get to look at that. That's payment this year. So you get to see what's going on. Basically, the only thing we have is the new police station. Yep. yep. Okay. Yeah, and a, and a small uh, small bill with the sawmill dam pond. Oh. Or saw. Yeah. yeah. Sawmill pond dam. Okay. So, I mean, we're <laughs> things that we're, we're pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So, it doesn't sound too bad. It sounds... Quite easy. To it's but you have an August twentieth deadline looming for you for sixteen. Are you going to meet that? Yes. You have, your, you have it all in place. Yep. That you actually should be filed work by the thirtieth of this month. Awesome. So that is yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. Fingers okay. crossed. It's been a little stressful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it has. Yeah, but We've then had seven. our trials and tribulations. Believe me. So. We've gone through three uh, treasures in six years. So. Ouch. Ouch is right. Here? Oh, here too, we find some quite a few treasures. Yeah, it's very, uh, I'm sorry, not treasures, account, uh, accountants. Oh, oh okay. Three accountants. Well, and it's like, really? I mean, you just get in it. Well, we had, um, we had our accountant was here for 13 years with us, and then she left because of sickness with her, and her husband mm -hmm. wasn't well either. So, you know, after having yep. a long term accountant. Yeah, yes. right. That's my point. It's difficult. It's difficult. Yeah, very. And yeah, luckily and enough, she was still in huh. non humus accounting. Oh, you're kidding. So she yeah. wasn't even humus? Wow. Okay. She, she was kind of half humus, half. Um, yeah. Are you, uh, are you transitioning? To we are completely moving to okay. the standard. <laughs> now, can you tell me about your software? Can you tell me, is it Vader on your side? It is Vader on, on all aspects except for the assessors. Uh, the assessors. Okay. And but they they're still in the. They're still on camera. Um, and it is in, they are working with Kiama to integrate. integrate with Vader. It and Vader is really terrific well. at that, though. You will get there. Yeah. Um, they didn't have a lot I've of integrated with yeah, well. so But that's all part of our restructure. I've, I've managed to get 25 hours for that, I, I each know. department. So. Yeah, yeah. would be a benefit. Yeah. yeah, I mean, beta, I know it inside and out. It's a, it's a very user friendly. It program. is very user friendly, and I know every cork in it, and I know what you got to avoid, and I know what could be date. When they say date driven, yes, take that to heart. Oh yeah, because otherwise you're going to have a big old mess, and those are the things that end up on Nancy's. Desk. I already did that. <laughs> Last yes. year when I started, it's like look what I did. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Can't do that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and you take that to heart early. Yep. yep. But live and learn, and I did. Live and learn. That's <laughs> right. I've had twenty I years to learn. You walk, run into the wall, you feel the pain. Yeah. You, learn. you yes. don't want to do that again. <laughs> yes. So, so have yeah. you had any other questions? I don't think at this time. I mean, I know you have other candidates, and now, I just wanted um, to get a feel for. How many hours a week could you offer? I am only allowed uh, to work 960 hours a year. Now, that being said, I'm doing 36 now and I'm running a bigger town, two departments, but I do have a work, I do have two clerks, one for each of the departments. Yeah, well you have the system then. So, I mean, I am balancing out May right now as we speak. I'm right on top of where we have to be. We don't have any backlog. 18 or 19. So when do you plan on finishing up in Barron? Um, as I spoke to you and told you, um, I want to retire. I want to ease my burden. There are stresses, mm -hmm. and I expect stresses on these jobs because <laughs> this job is extremely stressful. Yeah. But there are undue stresses, and those where I say, I'm drawing the line, no more. Enough is enough. If you keep beating your head against the wall, and it keeps occurring and no one's hearing, that's an undue stress. So I am looking to take my 26 years, retire early, and look for something where I can just come in, in a, and I'm not saying I'm going to be here every Monday at this time. I will with, with my assistant. She will know when I'm coming. It depends on what do you, am I looking at with your books? What do you need? When do you need it? 
Am I have to de dedicate more hours in the beginning so we can get where we got to be in fewer hours? I don't know. But when you have years and years of experience, what takes somebody else 40 hours to do, I'm like, really? I can do that in 15 because I can do it yeah. with my eyes closed. It's the difference between having done it every single day for years and years yeah. and years. And honestly, I came in, I came in to Barry and the the first day I came in, no desk, no chair, no place to sit to work, no chair, obviously no computer. I'm like, oh wow, what did I do? I just left a 20 year job. And, and um, I don't even have a place to work. The day I got my computer, I started looking in there and I said, oh no, I don't like, it doesn't take me long to look at these reports and say, I don't like what I'm looking at. And then I started asking questions and I didn't like the answers. It didn't take me two weeks to say I need uh, either the DA or a forensic auditor in here. It didn't take me long. I don't know why it took them so long. It did not take me long. Hmm. It was less than two weeks and I knew exactly what I'm looking for. I know exactly yeah. what I'm looking for and it was yeah. fade off. And if you think I don't know them inside out and know what I'm looking at, I know exactly what I'm looking at. Um, and I started looking around and I realized, hmm, not only do I not have a desk and chair, I don't see a file cabinet. Oh. <laughs> so when I opened this big old walk-in closet, there were on one side boxes to the ceiling and the, um, on the other side, three to four foot high piles of paper. That's how we file. So if you want something from 2011, that would be the first year, so that would be the closest mm -hmm. one. And if you want it halfway through the year, then you have to go halfway down the pile and look for it. I'm like, really? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. So that is what I walked into. And it is, for the, I, I've closed 30 years. There are still the six remaining, but I've done all the takings and secured everything that could be secured. Mm -hmm. The rest is either bankruptcy protection, that's another thing you deal with here. You need to know when to move, when not to move, when to file a stay, when, you know, you need to know yeah. what you're doing with that bankrupt, the new bankruptcy laws. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. As I think about, I do a lot of this yeah. stuff, it's just so routine to me. I don't sit and look at it. If it's in the manual, I do it. <laughs> Pretty much. Excellent. Okay, so excellent. I can't tell you what my schedule would be. I can tell you that I've asked the Worcester County Retirement in the event that this works out for us um, to give me, a, I, was, I would give a one month notice. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. I feel I need to do that much oh, sure. because they're going to have to find somebody mm -hmm. to come in. My clerks are great, but they are clerks. I mean, the technically called assistants, but I can tell you that they can do 50% of what I do. Yeah. The other 50% falls squarely on my shoulders. Can I ask a question about that? Yeah. Very specifically. Um, what experience do you have in developing um, what's referred to in other industries as standard work or visual work instructions to assist others in developing their skill sets? Um, in, in those fields because that I believe if on a very limited schedule like that will be critical to Brookfield needs to develop a bench okay right. we need a bench of people you have an qualified. assistant obviously I'm not a spring chicken um, I'm not you know I don't know how old Holly is but she's not as old as I am <laughs> um, and I realize that you need somebody that's going to step into my shoes um, the girls that are in my office now, one was a, a truck driver, she wrote, drove a bus, she was a bus driver, and one was worked in a bakery. So I have taken them under my wing while cleaning all this up and said to them, okay, I gotta train you this way because this is forensic audit work, mm -hmm. but this is not your normal job. So we're gonna go yeah. do all of this and then I'm gonna retrain you the way you do it from the ground up. They told me that they like my system. I'm very patient. I will explain it to you five times if I have to. I know exactly what your trials and tribulations are gonna be because there's not one thing that they do that I can't do quicker mm -hmm. myself. Yes. So 
it's a matter of them learning, making mistakes, and then I will always take the time to talk to them about why it's a mistake, what it costs, what it's going to take to fix it, how it gets done. For the first couple of years, I, I, sh I told them, I showed them it over my shoulder. Then I started to let them, yeah. you, you made that mistake, you've seen this many times, go with it, show me what you do, and let's see if you got it right. And, and I'm very mentoring, I'm very patient, I never raise my voice to my clerks, I'm very honest with my clerks. If they did something and I'm like, okay, we need to talk. Of course I know you're as loyal as can be, but you didn't understand this. I need to be sure you do. We don't want to go forward with this. So let's sit and have a conversation. I've never had any of them upset. I have never had any of them storm out or do anything but say I'm sorry and I'll try to get it, do it better. It's not my nature to be that way because I had to learn myself. I didn't have anyone drain me. I had to come in and do it myself. Well, Holly's been here about 16 years. She's worked for, she works still for the water department mm -hmm. and she works for the police. Oh yeah, I do water and sewer too. And I she <laughs> and she trained under Sandy for four years. So yeah. this is why she And Sandy was a very good collector. Yes. She was. And then she she was coming along as a very good treasurer. Oh, also. I'm sure. And so she trained Holly. And so Holly was able to pretty much step in. She could do the payroll and she yep. did a lot of things. But she really didn't do, couldn't do the posting on VADA because she really hadn't had training on VADA. She will have training and she will be able to do it. And my girls understand it inside and out. And they completely, I don't do any posting. I, I, they do all of the balancing yeah. and posting. They give to me. I have my own system that I've set mm -hmm. up where they're an integral part of it. So it's not just me handling it, but we work at a central area where I've created a book where we all go to that book. And by looking at that book, I know what you're doing, I know what you're doing, and when you look at it, you know what I'm doing. We all know where each other is at just by that. And if someone says, I need to find a packet from, I need to find something from a year ago, they know how to trace it right on back find it, it's no ma a matter of two minutes, and they've got that document. Mm -hmm. We also do, and I don't know if you do, but I like, um, I like automated, I like the, the bank, um, the machines where everything yeah. goes right to the banks. Yeah. I have several banks. Brenda does that. And you know, I do that. I also have online um, bank, uh, online where they can go in and pay their bills online, but it's not, it's not UniPay online, it's, uh, Invoice Cloud, where you can sign up and you can get your bill uh, texted to you if you want, and you can hit the button and say, yep, that bill looks good, pay now, or no, you know what, the big bill looks good, the due date is what, pay on that day. Boom, done. Um, we have that for, we have, e you can do email, you can do it on our website, you can do it over the phone, uh, you can do it at the counter. I mean, I have integrated a lot. I know you need pay and I know most towns use it. For me, I want you to be able to look up and, and put everything in your shopping cart. And what I was going to do, and what I had um, contracted to do, is the dog licenses, everything was going to be. So everybody can go in and say, we're going to get my dog licenses, I want to pay my water bill, I want to pay this. In the cart, in the cart, in the cart, boom, done. Receipts go to you, you're all set. Or you could sign up and you could say, um, you know what, uh, I don't want these paper bills anymore. We'll send you an email two, two weeks from today. Your bill is due, you haven't paid it yet. Uh, a week from today it's due, do you want to pay it now? Um, you know, you've paid it, thank you for your payment, here's your receipt. Um, anytime you want to go in there, you can see your receipt, pull it up, print it out. I mean, I have pulled a lot of technology into the town and made it very convenient for our people on the go to be in Texas and say, hmm, I wonder if I have a bill due. Oh, and the other thing we did is VEDA, every night after midnight, sweeps all of the posted payments and updates them onto the website. So every day, when you look at it, yeah, I'm like getting excited over here. <laughs> That's what I've there done in my like technology spare time. <laughs> so you're asking me if I, what I can do in 960 hours? 
I've done all that, plan up 30, uh, 36 uh, years, done both things, trained new girls with no experience, and yeah. Yeah, that's what I've done. Okay. Good. And um, obviously, when I come in at 7 a.m. and sit at my desk, I don't get up unless I have to use the ladies' room or have my 20 minute lunch until it's time for me to go. Because you don't do that and go party with the other party people. Yeah. So that's what I've done for Barry. Okay, excellent. Yep. Thank, thank you, Nancy, for coming in. And Absolutely. And I'm time. now going to go home and change. I didn't get a chance to because I wanted to make it here by quite past. And it was nice meeting you now. Yes, I can too. say I know you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, folks. Okay. Linda, you. always nice to see nice you. Nice to see you, too. Um, I still go out yep. this way. Do yep. well, I still go out that no, yep. Can I go out that door? Yeah, I can go out that door. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Right. Hey, is I'm just, she's here, I'm sure she is. Uh, yeah, do you want me to go get her? Yeah. She's yeah. 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 here. Yeah. 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 You guys have to do something about that door. We need to go. Sorry. Sounds like an animal. WD-40 around here? Yeah. Paul, check it out. Paul, check it out. Do you want to do it? My name is Karen just went looking for you. Oh, you know, I was sitting in the kitchen because, well, I thought it'd be a little cooler in there. Have a seat. Thank you so much. Oh. Almost went up the stairs and I heard your voice. I'm sorry. I was in the kitchen. Mm. Okay, we have. Lonnie, who's been working here with us for about how many years now? Have you been with I believe three and a half. Now she's been here for three and a half years with us, and she's been quite a bit with all the different departments. And I see she's worked in municipal government for quite a few years down in Charlton, and she's been with Knoxford, so she's quite experienced too with municipal government. Mm -hmm. And she's been working for Holly for the last month and helping Holly out and mm -hmm. learning a payroll and I think she even won some of the posting, didn't you, on Veda? Correct. Yeah. And actually I have a meeting with um, Lee from Veda tomorrow because, um, well, uh, some of the, the past um, turnovers haven't gotten entered since um, our treasurer was, you know, left being ill and so sorry that um, when I called him, he's going to be able to help me go back so we can get to where we need to be. Okay. All right, we'll start with our first question. What qualities do you have that would make us, would make you a successful person? Okay, so, as you stated, I have um, several plus, <coughs> plus years in the municipal government, so I'm very familiar where with the way things run, I guess. Um, I have um, payroll experience in all of my previous um, municipal jobs. I did payroll for the highway department, the sanitation, essentially public works. Um, I did the payroll and budgets as well for uh, the public works and then the payroll and budget for the health department where I previously worked. So I'm familiar with, um, I want to say the system, the way things are taken in and turned over. Um, being a treasurer here, I already have a good um, relationship with everyone in the town hall because I've been here for so long and um, they all have confidence in me because since I started out with one job here, I now presently hold five different positions that have all been <laughs> approached yeah. and asked of me. So um, You've which, done very well with all of them. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, enjoy, uh, I enjoy Brookfield immensely. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Snyder Smith. I get question number two. Tell us what you think of the essential functions, are, what the essential functions are of the town treasurer. Backbone. Very, very important position. 
um, between the payroll, the deductions, the insurances, the bonds with the town, um, dealing with, um, I believe, Bartholomew, um, uh, like budgets, and um, dealing with the accountant on a probably a daily basis, mm. and the tax collector with tax title. Wide, wide range of activities. I'm sorry? A wide range of yes, activities. very wide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your turn. Okay, can you tell us about your experience with any financial software? Okay, so a long time ago, I did Munis, which was, I believe, for the town of Framingham, which was um, when I worked for Public Works. Um, same situation there where I want to kind of be in the backup of each person. So it was a Munis system, but I got a, a bit of the accountant and the payroll um, and the office manager. And then I'm presently working in VADAR because I am working with Bobby. Great. As well as Access and Microsoft Office, depending on certain departments and how their systems run. How, uh, I know it's not the financial software we use, but how, how comfortable are you in offline manipulation for reporting purposes of downloads out of something like Vader where you get a, a comma delineated file and, and maybe can do it in that? Can you do like analytical work in Excel? Yes, I'd be very proficient at Excel. Okay, great. Another to you. Okay. What experiences have you had with human resource management, like payrolls, pension, insurance, and benefits? Okay, so kind of going back a little, um, when I worked for the health department, I had two employees under me, so I was in charge of their payroll, as well as our um, contractors, um, our agent. Then working for the highway department, I did all the payroll, uh, for the highway and then I was back up for sanitation and water sewer and with that came the shift differentials because with unions you get the four hour pay yep. um, and then in the winter time because I was also on dispatch so we had all the hired equipment mm -hmm. so I was responsible for all the hired equipment's pay as well so I have a lot of experience in payroll and how about like with um did any of those have anything to do, like, say, with pens pensions and insurances or anything? Um, I'm trying to think. When I worked at Boston Scientific, I worked in uh, human uh, resource, excuse me. So I was responsible for filing and a little data entry then. That was a while ago, but mm. it's still in there. Um, with entering the payroll for these other departments, if there were situations where I would have to make sure that, um, again, the overtime or the shift differential, so I did deal with that. Okay. Insurances, um, I've had a little dealing with insurances, not okay. too much hands on, but yes, a little bit. So what, what research or professional development actions have you taken recently to improve your skills, your skill set or prepare for this position? Well, I've been looking online and I looked up the, uh, the lovely treasurer's book that I believe is 273 pages long. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> you know, so right. Um, I started reviewing that and um, I actually, um, I came to Holly to ask if I could assist her in any way and then now I presently hold the financial clerk position, so I'm, I'm definitely mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, how have you boosted your relationship with your colleagues? Can you share an experience where you participated on or as part of a team? Let's see. Well, I believe um, I actually I helped carry out a town meeting. <laughs> um, we needed to make sure we had some numbers, so I asked Carrie if I could help her, so I did assist. I did page two, so um, that's a definite one. Um, I'm pretty, I will ask if anyone needs help, and 
that's kind of how I got all the positions I ha have now. As the records access officer, the position is um, very fun and exciting, and you have to be able to. Um, you have a gift for New England understatement. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be able to um, get along with everybody in the sense of um, if someone asks something of me as the records access officer, I might have to go see Carrie, and I'll say to Carrie or whomever it might be, you know, this person's looking for such and such and such, and she might be like, well, that's like about three boxes of copying. I'll copy it for you. Don't worry. You just show, point me in the right direction. So um, I guess those are a few experiences. And Yes? And I've noticed, if I could jump in, I've noticed that all the different jobs that she has done around here, she's, she's a very quick learner. She learns fast. Thank you. And she's done well. So Beth, what question was that that you had? It was number seven, seven. I believe. Wow. Did we ask her yet with the uh, municipal investing? And she probably hasn't. She mentioned it. Yeah. Um, did, you, did we skip over it? Yeah, I think. How did that happen? I'm no. Yeah. I did. If you'd like, I know in my previous job we had. Um, I have to think for a minute. So we had a landfill, and we had a FAM, which is the financial uh, assurance mechanism. Mm -hmm. So the company that came in, they paid the town a certain amount of money. And with that, um, I kept record of all the payment and all the disbursements. Yes. And um, I worked with the treasurer at the time because of the fact of the interest on there and when the town needed to mm -hmm. ask for more money. So. Excellent. Good. All right. You want to ask which one? The last one? Maybe? Last question? Yeah. This position will require evening meetings and training outside of your normal work hours, such as tre the treasurer's school. So do you foresee any issues or problems with this? I do not. As a matter of fact, um, if all goes well, I will be attending the Treasurer School in August. Um, as for meetings, I just left one, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> yep. um, no, whatever's needed, um, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Now, do you have any questions of us or anything else that you think would be helpful to know? Well, well, you know quite a bit about us, but I do. Uh, any questions about anything? Um, I I don't believe so right now. Um, I would like to say that um, regardless of anything, it is such a pleasure to come to Brookfield. And I came to the town meeting the other night to because I know um, the treasurer, the interim treasurer, was she had a previous engagement. So I thought if I could sit in, in the event a question was asked, I could hopefully help out with that. So. I'm definitely dedicated, I'm definitely loyal, and I enjoy coming here every day. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. And do you have any, I, I mean, you've probably heard, you know, we have a few little problems with books and things like that, and how Carrie's had any everything restructured. So, so you'd be up to helping out and just joining right in with asking for it? Absolutely. It, you work better as a team, and if someone's already on board with a process mm -hmm. absolutely go with it okay anybody else Excellent. have anything more to say mm -hmm. we're good carrie do you have any questions or anything i just i enjoy working with lani already she is a, a get to it kind of girl and doesn't hesitate to jump in and she bakes really good cookies. <laughs> that's a team building I do. skill. Thank you. So she, um, yes, that's part of her team building skill. She's uh, we we've, we've all really worked hard this last year yes. to to develop a good working team. And I we, know you have. We try I think we to have a very good come up with something like fun every once yeah. in a while. Yeah. And Lonnie, Lonnie does participate in that fun. So I know she does. Okay. Much appreciated. Thank, Thank you, Lonnie. Thank, Thank you all very much. We'll be Thank in you. Touch. Okay. Have a safe ride home. Yes, thank yes, you so careful. much. Okay. Careful out there, they're crazy. We'll ask the air conditioning, that's yeah. all I can say. Yes, for sure. Okay. Thank you all. Good night, Good night. Good night. Okay. Between the two, I know Nancy is very really qualified. Very, very qualified. She could just jump in here tomorrow and do the thing, but the thing is, how many years 
when we, when we invest in her. Because, I mean, we've had so many treasurers come in and out. They stayed a few years, and then they left. And that's one of the things. And I think we should come to the point where maybe we should try to have somebody that would be stay here with us for quite a few years. A younger person that would be with them. I mean, not no, it's no age discrimination. But I mean, Nancy's going to retire, so we don't know how many but years that she'd really well, be with us. The issue is that she can only work for many hours. And she can only work so many hours. And so, so what it really says is that there really wants to be a backup to that plan. I mean, yeah. because she does have that experience yeah. and it's valuable. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And, and it's, it's almost in my mind is how do you, how do you take advantage of that valuable experience mm -hmm. that's available yeah. and, and train up? Yeah. Well, and that's what that's that was I mean, related to my comment about the really bench and the and, yeah. and the training portion of it is that, you know, and she she brings a lot to the table. She, she really does. does. I've worked yeah. with Nancy before, and I know she's she's a, one of these people. She's right there. She knows what she's doing, and she's no nonsense. And I think a lot of people that were around here didn't like that. Well, and, and, and a number of the issues we had over the years related to whenever somebody questioned how things were yeah. being done, if they didn't feel it was appropriate, it caused a lot of, a lot of um, yeah. friction versus if it's different when somebody walks in and they know you're in a rebuilding point and you're mm -hmm. trying to establish yeah. some, some stuff and it's, um, I don't know that there would be that automatic pushback. It would be more like, well, let's see how that fits in what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And and I don't know that necessarily it would cause the type of troubles that it perhaps did in the past. Because I know one of the departments specifically, I don't want to name any, but I know that one of the departments, there was a lot of problems. And Nancy tried to go over and help them out, and they became very resentful because she applied for the position over here three or four years ago. And I guess some of them had said it. She was here, they were gone. Because, I mean, she, she knew the right way to do these things, and they didn't like being told what they were doing wrong. Well, mm -hmm. well. there's right and there's right. She, and she knows the right way. She's been in it enough years. She's been involved for 26 years. Well, she knows what she's doing. That's why I, I, I see we have, an, uh, we have an opportunity where we've got an experienced person that could come in for a period of time that would have to be backed up because it's only the 18 hours or less yeah. that's right. available. Mm -hmm. right. And so yeah, it's it comes almost, out 18 hours. Yeah. 20, I figured 20. No, it's, no, it's, no, it's not. 18. It's about 18. It's just a little under no, 20. No, because the way, the, way, the way it's said is is the, re, the 980, 980 is actually the magic number. No, 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 I, no I, understand. I understand, but 980 is the magic number in the state of Massachusetts for something to be considered a seasonal position and yeah. not be benefit eligible. Yeah. Okay. So the 960 is where they set it to offset sort of somebody, yeah. you right. know, works a few hours yeah. over, they're still not mm -hmm. in a position that's... that's 960, that's, that's yeah, still along with 20 hours a week. Yeah. yeah. And so I, I almost see where there's an opportunity where we could get that as a part of what's going on. And then we could take advantage of, especially if she's doing the, this is now, looking to the other side of getting some training, getting certifications and whatnot. In, in, in a parallel path, there's a point where Nancy would feel like we got it done. But here's here's one of the things I would like to propose. I would like to propose that that's the direction that we go. That we consider offering support for going to treasurer school anyway. Abs absolutely. Oh yeah. And, absolutely. and I don't know. Who are we talking about? Here? Well, we, we, we need we need to figure out. We we need to figure out couple of different things okay so Holly's assistant treasurer right? yes. is she planning on going to the August school yes yes okay I, She's planning. I don't know that Holly has interest in the actual treasurer's position correct the, no no I, the, I, yeah. I get that maybe um, sometime over yeah. down the road well but, my, my, but what my point is is from a cross training perspective mm -hmm. is if we were to go if we were to go with Nancy mm -hmm. okay that we still offer Lonnie the opportunity to go to the school and oh, support yeah. her going to the school. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Making it clear that it's not that we don't value the contributions that she's already made, yeah. but that we, given the point that we are with our finances, it might not be a bad idea to have somebody with Nancy's experience mm -hmm. in the door helping with the restructuring. That's it. So, uh, yeah. That's and, the, and I sent a note to Carrie earlier. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, and, and the note was, back to your plan, 
And, and again, feedback from mm -hmm. the meeting that you yeah. had. Mm -hmm. I understand that, I appreciate that. It's take, it will take time. My concern is that the sooner, the better. Yes. And so therefore, if there were additional resources that we could apply, and quite honestly, I'm thinking that back to the consultant monies that are in the pocket, mm -hmm. or would be in the pocket for the next year, we take a portion of those consulting dollars to, and maybe we gotta push them around a little bit, but to push those towards having additional resources available now right. to work the problem. Right. And again, on the, oh. other, the other flip, okay. pardon me just for a second, again, Nancy, if she were available, wouldn't be available for another month yeah. anyway. Mm -hmm. We can get a lot of things done in a month right. should we have the resources available. So it's it's almost like you'd, you'd love to have these extra resources yeah. come in to help mm -hmm. us at, at a point. And, but at the same time, get going with the needs that we right. have. Yes. Yes. So I, I see this as a win-win. Yeah. With taking advantage of Nancy to yep. have her come in, yep. and then the, the flip it around, get uh, Lonnie off to school for yep. August, yep. and get her working as she's working. Yeah, right. In support. the financial clerk's right. position, supporting the treasurer's office, and exactly. is continuing to yeah. to work with the long-term plan that we understand that Nancy would only be a couple of years based on her retirement interests and so that we would have a bench to your point available to us and we're, we're, we're homegrown. Right. I mean the risk is in place people yeah, yeah. we have I mean the yeah. risk is always you know you train them and they run mm -hmm. off and go play somewhere else but that happens but best but intentions exactly mm -hmm. so Madam Chair would you like that motion? that we offer the job to Nancy mm -hmm. with the idea that that we go caveat that, that Lonnie is offered the yeah. opportunity to go to the school and that we move forward with that as, and let's see what, where, where it falls. Well, I take that motion too. I'll, I'll second it. You'll second any discussion? How do you feel, Carrie, on it? I think given the position that we're currently in, Nancy brings a lot to the table. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I was very excited to hear her uh, technology oh, yeah. uh, integration mm -hmm. because I, we know that I am, you know, 100% for moving more forward with the yep. technology mm -hmm. for the town. Um, so um, I do agree that Lonnie is capable of learning it by mm -hmm. oh, yeah. every stretch oh, of the imagination. Yeah. She's a yeah. smart girl yeah, and she is. will take anything we throw yeah. at her. Yeah. Um, and to, to not give her an opportunity would be a travesty to the town, I believe. Yeah. She's a good asset. Um, but I do believe that sh that current goals would, would be to put someone with a little bit yes. more experience. But, yeah. I know, because Nancy, Nancy's done this. She knows it. She knows how to dance back and shake. Right. And, and she's got her interests as well. So yep. there's a balancing that she yep. can have, she, possibly. Yep. And we, we need to train up Lonnie. We'll have to right. train, yeah, yeah. train Lonnie. So well, we have to see now, I know in the budget, I know we have the assistant treasurer's salary. Did they take, did you take out the um, financial right. assistant? Well, right now, what do you, right now we get a treasurer and, and a clerk, which you boosted into a assistant treasurer. Yeah. But now you're talking about a financial clerk as well? She's already working she, several hours. She's already doing working several hours. Work. But what I'm asking you is you get a financial clerk plus an assistant treasurer plus we're going to have a treasurer. Is that what you have on board? I know what you're going to say because the explanation did say that uh, changing the title to financial right. to assistant Correct. treasurer yeah. would omit the uh, would would need a clerk. Right. Yeah. clerk. It was mostly in the same hours but we boosted from 17 to the clerk yeah, right to here. the assistant to 22. But I didn't see any line in it for financial clerk. No. But, no, there's not. Well, I don't know, you guys that, are talking that, about that. You but that position, though, still is in the job descriptions. We still have that position there, so we didn't do away with the position. We didn't do away with it. Yeah. And what I would recommend is that we fund the position to the, the numbers of hours that we need to get going yeah. with what we need to get going with. So, and, the, and the flip side of it is, historically speaking, we've prior to having that budget split out for the treasurer's clerk, because mm -hmm. for several years, years we didn't have it. What's yeah. that? We're still under budget compared well, to prior years. Yeah. Well, well, right. It was a municipal well, clerk. Well, that's, that's that, right. Well, that's what I was, where I was about to go, yeah. David, is yeah. that we do still have an account for municipal clerk. Right, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. We can, we can, we can, you know, fund, 
fun for now from from that yeah, from, from the that point. Thing. What consulting were you talking? The consulting line that we have within our budget. Yeah, we could probably take some of that and especially we, to send her off to school. Yeah, right. can but we? That municipal clerk, you know, you know, Lois is coming back. Probably next month. Well, I also have a um, accounting, accounting clerk. clerk open position. So maybe integrating Holly between the two departments. I've already budgeted. Well, well, no, what would work better would actually have Lonnie work as your financial mm -hmm. clerk. Be and the reason why I say that is because we have to keep the firewall up between um, treasurer and accountant. Because the only difference is the main position. Clerks can cross. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. They can. Yes. Sure. Okay. You want? But but that would that would that the funding under your office would allow us to maintain her in a financial position for quite some time. For yeah. quite some time. Well, half a year at least. Yeah. And then I could I could work with her on my time in teaching her to reconcile from my side sure. so that when she worked with the treasurer, she's already looking at the yeah. accountant's side. Okay. So she kind of so, gets it. It will yeah, be a win-win situation. Yeah. So, Madam Chair, I think the budgeting we can play with. Yes, I think we can But too. I think we need to see if these folks are interested in yeah. our thoughts. Yeah, we have to call Nancy back in. And we'll talk to Nancy. And I think we should call Lonnie back in and tell her you know, what we, the ideas that we have with her. Yep. I think that would be good. So I'd like to call a vote. Call a vote on a motion. Oh, I, I'll I, I will make I, I'll I have make a motion. motion. I will make. I will mm -hmm. make, ask, make, ask that motion. <laughs> aye. 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 And so you got the ball as far as. Pardon me. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to run next door. I know. Okay. I'm all right. No. Right. Wait, wait. May I speak, Mayor Chair? Sure. We put money, there's money in there for. Holly to go to school. We mm -hmm. put that into her budget, so just so yes. you know that. Okay. But we did not put any other money into anyone else. But that's what you're. Yeah. That's, yeah. Now you three tonight. Now that's like what I call leadership tonight. How you all decided. That's excellent. From a financial point of view, Thank very you. very good. That's right, Pat. No. So so, so, so I'm, you do I'm telling you what you did that was great. Pay. See see when they're available. See when they're both available, we can pull them both in like on the same night. Yep. And you want like a group discussion? Do you want to do it on the twentieth? Do you want to do it on the twentieth no? or not? You want a group discussion? With that them? would be excellent, Carrie. Um, what is that? Well, a group discussion with Nancy and Lonnie, Lonnie and sure. you could come. And Holly. Sure. And Holly. The when four of them. I don't know. <laughs> She's got to work it, but they they buy into the idea. Okay. I mean, the we next got meeting is on the twentieth. Yeah. She want me to try the 20th of them. Do we have a lot on the agenda? Way. Can we get it? Well, we're going to oh, do the, uh, we're doing the appointments on the 20th. So. No, we're doing appointments on the 20th. When is, uh, I know Holly's still away. When is she due back? Um, the end of this week. Oh, the end? I believe she's due back Friday, isn't she? Thursday or Friday? I thought it, I thought it was so tomorrow. <laughs> so oh. If they buy in, let's try to set something up next week. Okay. Well, I think one of the things, just from a standpoint of, of structurally speaking, yeah. um, what we really want to do is put put together formal formal offer letters from the stamp that should be part of the conversation. Right. Um, well, you're going verbal now. Yeah, right. Right. Verbal right and, now. and then the verbal goes to so now let, let's have yeah. a meeting. Okay. And then we're buying into that. If we're buying into that, then the, the, then you get the, the formal yeah, then you correspondence get the formal would go based on that. Understood. Um, don't try to schedule around my schedule because I'm actually um, going to be unavailable probably from Thursday through Monday. Okay. So you mean this Thursday? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it wants to be next week. We'll have yeah. to do it someday next week. So we'll um, we'll get a date so we can make sure we get everybody together. And we'll discuss it. See if we put a plan together. Yep. Excellent. Thank you. So, do we Thank want you. to do anything like with uh, tell Nancy that we're very interested in her? That's what I'm saying. Is would you call Nancy? Oh, sure. And say that we're very interested. Yeah, I will. I'll come see what see. what the stipulations are back mm -hmm. in the month. The idea okay. of having a follow up meeting with the yeah. team to mm -hmm. to get going with that, okay. so that we then can write a formal letter to okay. both parties. Okay. Make sense? Makes sense. Right. Makes sense. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Thanks.
725. 725? Any discussion? Oh, can't do that. <laughs> okay, we'll adjourn. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me.